community in Marin County is pioneering a plan to control traffic with artificial intelligence. KTV's Tom Vagar live tonight at the so-called hub in the town of San Anselmo and taking a look at the numbers here, Tom, the pilot program costing just about $30,000. Yeah, it's pretty cheap for what they're getting for it. It's a bit of an experiment and a bit of a trial, but it might just be a harbinger of what's going to be a much brighter concept of traffic control. San Anselmo's hub has been a commute intersection choke point for decades. Here, three major commuter roads intersect, Sir Francis Drake, Red Hill, and Center Boulevards, make it an unbearable bear. The major complaint was the delays at this intersection, which some people say are like 10 or 20 minutes, but usually a few minutes. But artificial intelligence now controls the lights, not 20th century timing clocks with no intelligence to speak of. The AI has cut down, at, we're I think about 25% at um, peak time, which is I think 4 to 6 p.m. We've got positive complaints, I call them, where people have said to me, you know, I used to be able to wait, do texts or emails. Now it goes so fast, if I'm not paying attention, I miss it. Consider this. San Anselmo has about 16,500 people, but every weekday, 65,000 cars use this intersection. That's five times the number of people, and many of those cars have more than one person in them. So if you take that delay, 65,000 vehicles a day, you're saving 90 hours a day for commuters, um, which is incredible. High-tech, long-range cameras plus a sophisticated computer algorithm think traffic through in nanoseconds. They're looking at who's coming, how fast they're coming, and so the computer in there can, can analyze it and say, instead of giving the maximum time for this phase, we're going to cut it off because there's not that many people coming. We'll go to another phase and so that it works out the most efficient ways. The system works 24-7, never calls in sick, takes time off, quits, or retires. It's a perfect application for AI. It's the kind of thing it will be able to do better than humans. 24-7, so I'm, I'm all for it. There are some times where you're sitting, there's no one on the other side of the street, and you're waiting because they have their light and it's timed, and you're just going to sit there until it changes. I think it's a perfect use of AI. There is down the road a potential for this. I think that we need to slow it up a little bit and study it a bit more. I mean, that's my sense. Um, the boys on Wall Street are, are making money off of things that are not even working yet. Now, one of the things about AI that's really important is the more it learns, the better it gets at what it does, and it can share that with other intersection lights, and that's why it works so very well in the long term. Tom Vakar, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Know the intersection very well. Can't wait to see the results. Tom, thank you for that. Governor